Hello, in this presentation I will talk about motion instructions in Rapid, a language for programming ABB robots. This video is part of a set of mini tutorials on the Rapid language. The aims of the presentation are, on the one hand, to know the instructions that allow robot movements and understand their differences, as well as to see several examples or, uh, for nonlinear, linear and circular movements. The move apps J instruction allows you to move points in a non-linear motion, that is, robot joints will move independently to a given joint target value. You need to specify the joint target position, the speed, the zone, and the tool data that will affect to the overall motion. Here we can see an example of code that makes the robot move to three different uh, joint target positions. As you can see, the movements were not linear. The move J instruction also performs a non-linear movement, but the difference from the move apps J instruction is that now the point to move is not a joint target, but a robot target data type containing the position and orientation of a given point. The reminder of arguments are identical. Here we can see a code example to move to four specific target positions. As you can see, again, the movements were not linear, and for this reason, the gripper does not follow the exact tri or rect rectilinear trajectory that, that we define it. The move L instruction has exactly the same arguments as the move J instruction. That is, it allows to move the, the robot to a given target, but with a coordinated linear movement. Again, we will need to indicate the speed, the zone, and the tool data that will affect to the overall movement. Here, we see a very similar example as the previous one, with the difference that now it's performing a linear movement. As you can see, the, the gripper was moving just along the path, while the only difference in the code was the type of instruction used. The move C instruction defines a circular motion. The movement is defined from the current robot position, a middle point in the circle, and the target point. Actually, we only need to provide the middle circle point and the target point. Both of them are type rob target. In Robot Studio, two contiguous uh, rectilinear motions can be converted to a circular motion. The instruction only allows to perform arcs. Therefore, to make a complete circle, we must use two consecutive circular motion instructions, as we will see next. Here we see the code example that allows you to do a full circle. The first instruction performs a nonlinear movement to the position T4, but then performs a circular movement to position T2, passing through T1, and again returns to position T4, passing through T3 to complete the circle. Move instructions have a number of optional arguments. Here I show you some or the syntax uh, for, of move instructions that I have or we have previously seen. Specifically, I have included in the arguments or the arguments that I consider to be the most relevant, relevant ones. TCP speed can be adjusted with the V speed argument or time of the movement in seconds with the T argument. The zone data can be defined with the Z parameter. An important argument is the word object or W object, which is the name of the reference system or frame that allows it, the trajectory to be readjusted based on the work object frame. So, if you modify the work object reference frame, the directory will be recalculated based on this frame. So, that will allow you to work in different regions with the same motion instructions. When a robot has to transport delicate objects, we might be interested in controlling not only the speed but also the maximum acceleration and the slope of the acceleration, known as jerk. The A set ACC set instruction allows you to limit the maximum acceleration value and also to set the acceleration ramp. Here we show the acceleration profile for three possible settings. In the first one, the robot moves at the maximum acceleration and the shortest possible time, which is the default setting. 
In the other two examples, the value of the maximum acceleration is limited on the one hand, but not the slope, so that the change in the acceleration is fast, while in this last example, the acceleration slope is limited, but not the maximum value. When following a trajectory, it is usually convenient to carry out an approximation to a given point. This can be done with an offset instruction, which allows you to set a point offset relative to the point's own coordinate frame. For example, we can define a nonlinear approach movement 20 mm above from the point of interest T1 with a move J instruction at a fast speed with a Z5 or Z5 precision. Once the flyby point is reached, then we can move with a linear motion to T1 with a slower speed at a much greater position. In this presentation, I have explained the use of motion instructions in Rapid, their parameters and how to configure them. Thank you very much.